Staying active while pregnant is going to have a tremendous effect on the health of the mother as well as the baby. I'm at the European College of Sports Science Conference in Scotland, and I'm going to cover today what I learned from leading researchers in exercise and pregnancy. I'm Dr. Elise Brown. I'm a scientist who studies how exercise helps to prevent and slow the progression of diabetes. Exercising during pregnancy can protect both the mother and the baby from a number of risks, and staying active during this time period is especially important for mothers with higher BMIs. Higher BMIs influence how the placenta is formed, and how the placenta is formed influences how the baby's organs are formed. For the mother, regular exercise is going to lower the risk of developing gestational diabetes, postpartum depression, having a C-section, and preeclampsia, which is often accompanied by high blood pressure and signs of organ damage. For the baby, if the mother's exercising on a regular basis, the baby's going to be less likely to have higher body fat percentage, better glycemic control, and a better ability of their cells to produce energy necessary for normal cell functioning. When comparing cardio, strength training, and a combination of the two done during pregnancy, once the baby reaches one years old, strength training is going to be more effective than cardio at making sure that the baby has lower levels of body fat percentage, healthy levels I mean, and lower cardiometabolic risk, as well as better motor skills. A combination of strength training and cardio seems to be the best because not only does it have the benefits that I just mentioned, but it also is the most effective at lowering the baby's blood lipids, meaning the amount of fat in their blood. Unfortunately, women can sometimes face scrutiny when being active while pregnant. Serena Williams, who's considered the world's greatest women's tennis player of all times, she won her 23rd singles title at the Australian Open while being eight weeks pregnant. It doesn't take much digging around on the internet to find people objecting to her playing at such a high level while she was pregnant. But the fact of the matter is, we don't know the risks involved with doing certain activities while pregnant, but we do have a firm understanding of the risks of being inactive while pregnant. If we want to look at the intensity of exercise, there was a systematic review that looked at high intensity interval training during pregnancy, and they found that it was both safe and beneficial for the mother and the baby. 